Africa is making history. In Nigeria, the Dangote refinery, which is the largest oil refinery in Africa and even Europe, has just shipped its first cargo of gasoline by sea, making a huge step forward for Nigeria and the entire African continent. This refinery, developed by Nigerian's billionaire Aleko Dangote, took over seven years and around 19 billion US dollars to complete, with a capacity to process around 650,000 barrels of crude oil per day. It's set to reshape fuel production and distribution in West Africa. Recently, a ship carrying 500,000 barrels of gasoline sailed from the refinery in Lekki to Lagos. This is a short journey but a major milestone. The refinery's success relies on high-tech machinery like the residue fluid catalytic cracker or RFCC. This technology enables the refinery to convert crude oil residues into valuable fuels like gasoline, ensuring that Nigeria and the wider region has access to high-quality locally produced fuel. So in terms of quality, we are doing very, very well. Nobody can produce anything better than uh, us. So uh, I just got the result from him. Five minutes ago, we are now down to even 32 ppm. Until now, many African countries, including Nigeria itself, imported fuel from Europe and beyond, despite Nigeria being a leading oil producer. This dependency on imports has been costly, with billions spent each year to bring fuel into Africa. Let's take Ghana for example. Heavy reliance on imported fuel has placed a major strain on its economy. Ghana uses significant amount of foreign currency, mainly the US dollar, to pay for fuel imports. This constant demand for dollars drains Ghana's reserves, weakens the city and drives up inflation. As fuel prices increase, so do transportation and production costs, pushing the cost of living higher and impacting households incomes. A major source of city depreciation has been the demand for foreign exchange to finance the import of oil products. In fact, our import of oil products is around three billion dollars annually. But with the Dangote refinery, things could change. By producing fuel locally, Africa can reduce its dependency on imports and save vital foreign currency because Nigeria has announced to sell its fuel in Naira. This has the potential to strengthen local currencies and stable economies. The Dangote refinery rivals some of the largest refineries in the world. Only a few refineries globally produce over 650,000 barrels a day, making this achievement monumental not only for Nigeria but for all of Africa. As the refinery ramps up to a full production, it promises stable fuel prices, thousands of jobs, and progress towards energy independence for Nigeria and West Africa. So, as the first shipment reaches Lagos, it is clear the Dangote refinery isn't just a facility, it is a vision of what is possible when Africa refines its own resources, benefiting its people. Thanks very much for watching this episode. I'm Sheriff Harona. Have a wonderful day and see you in the next one. Makrao.